everyone, it's Kara Wedby, your favorite Pesca Vinny vegan. And today is a favorite of our families, another favorite. This one is called Buffalo Wing Chili. Now I'm making it vegan, gluten-free, um, and also I wanna make it thicker than I normally make it. It's normally kind of soupy because it calls for a box of vegetable broth. But, and this is a recipe I got from Rachel Ray, her TV show. I watched it several years ago when she first started on that show and I just kind of memorized the recipes. Um, so like, you know, from my other videos, I usually don't measure a lot of stuff and neither does she. I think it's an Italian thing. So anyway, um, I saw that video on her, so I'm not using all the ingredients she uses. So this is definitely a modified version of that buffalo wing uh, chili recipe. Um, but it's a favorite of my family, especially my husband. And so today is Taco Tuesday. And so I wanted to make uh, something that we could make nachos with. So I'm gonna make it thicker. So we are not using the box of stock like I normally would. We're gonna do it without it this time. But just letting you know that if you're making this recipe and you like soupier chili, then you probably wanna put the stock in there. All right, so I've already cooked the meat that I'm gonna use. You wanna use two pounds of meat. Um, and since we're vegan, we're using vegan. So we're using Beyond Beef Crumbles, beefy crumbles. I already cooked those up and they're actually already in the slow cooker. And then the other meat I'm using today, or fake meat, is Beyond Meat Beyond Sausage. This is their regular original flavor. It's plant-based sausage that comes in links. And then I crumbled up the links into the pan here to make them like, um, I guess ground sausage. <laughs> so I like it better in there. And really this fake meat, unless you try to cut it from frozen into links and then cook it, it doesn't really stay together. So it's just easier to make it ground sausage, in my opinion. So that's the two kinds of fake meat we're using for our buffalo chili. And if you don't wanna use fake meat or meat at all, you can use, um, chickpeas, black beans, etc. We're gonna put beans in this uh, chili, but it's, you know, if you don't want any kind of this fake meat, you can use beans instead. So, like I said, we already have the beefy crumbles in here from Beyond Meat, and now I just put the sausage that I ground up, the Beyond Meat sausage links. So we've got our two pounds of meat in the slow cooker. Now I'm gonna show you what else you need to make this recipe. And again, it's in my slow cooker. There it is. Okay, so there's the slow cooker. So now we're gonna make the rest of the recipe. So, I've got our two pounds of fake meat in there. Now we're gonna put in, you're supposed to use two cans of fire roasted tomatoes, but I'm using one huge one. cans of fire roasted tomatoes or one large one like I just did. Um, we also, she likes to, since it's buffalo wing is the, is the theme of this chili, she puts carrots in hers and also celery like you would get on a plate of buffalo wings. I don't have celery. My family doesn't really like it that much, so I don't ever have a ton of it, but I do use carrots and I'm just going to use these. They're already cooked. I just have this on low. Um, you could put it on high if you actually had carrots that need to cook. Um, but I have it on low. You can put it on low all day. You can put it on low for a couple of hours. It's really just to marry the flavors together and heat everything up. You've already cooked the meat, so there's really no need for it to be on hot heat all day long. So, putting the canned carrots in there, and I did drain these first. Then also, I'm using a can of black beans, and I rinsed and drained these. Fun little fact, why do you rinse and drain a bean or a dried bean? Why do you soak them before you cook them? Anyone? Bueller, Bueller. The reason you do is because there are sugars on the bean and then the juice and um, if you rinse off all those sugars, you have less gas. Which that's better for everyone. All right, then 
she normally puts onions in there. So I have my frozen bag of onions left over from the fajita pasta recipe we did. Um, so I'm gonna put these into the slow cooker. Frozen chopped onion. It's probably about an onion is what was left in there. Remember a cup equals a medium onion, like three fourths of a cup equals a small onion. So roughly an onion. Try to get all the oniony goodness out of this bag here. And of ingredients that might have liquid in them, the last one, I use this brand because it's uh, safer for me. I think it's gluten free or else it doesn't seem to have anything in it that I'm allergic to. So um, give us some hot sauce. If you have buffalo wing sauce, obviously you can use that. I've never found one that I can have that's gluten free or free of other things I'm allergic to. So I just use hot sauce. However, this hot sauce is really spicy. So it calls for, the recipe calls for a fourth of a cup of buffalo wing sauce or hot sauce. If yours is really spicy like mine is, it might uh, get everybody's mouth on fire if you use a full fourth of a cup. So I usually do about half of whatever amount of hot sauce or buffalo wing sauce the recipe calls for. So I'm gonna do about half of a fourth of a cup. but not least is now again if you were gonna make it soupier then you would use the can of stock right here the can the box um, but I'm trying to make it thicker today because I want to use this on nachos so the last part is the spices I usually use four main spices for this particular recipe so chili powder um, I use garlic powder she does it <laughs> Rachel Ray's recipe doesn't call for that but I like garlic paprika and cumin. Okay, so she usually does about a tablespoon of each of these and then, oh, not the, obviously not the garlic. It didn't break, wow. Um, not the garlic, she don't use a tablespoon of that. <laughs> I just kind of shake a little bit of that in there. But the chili powder, you use two tablespoons. Now again, I don't use measuring devices, I just kind of eyeball it, but I'm just telling you that's roughly what the measurement should be. So, Doing a little bit of garlic first. Again, not too much, just a little bit, just to give it some extra flavor. Then we're gonna do a tablespoon of paprika. Roughly. Then a tablespoon of cumin. show you guys what it looks like before I stir it up and start it in the slow. All right, here is what it looks like before I stir everything up in the slow cooker. I got two pounds of meat in there, the Beyond Sausage, the Beyond Beefy Crumbles, an onion, frozen chopped onion, about a tablespoon of cumin, a tablespoon of paprika, two tablespoons of chili powder, and a little bit of garlic. That's just me. And then a can of rinse drained black beans and a can of drained carrots. So that is what I've got in there. And also a fourth of a cup of hot sauce. That gives it the buffalo flavor. So I'm gonna stir this together. It's on low. We're gonna let it cook until dinner time, whenever my kids are ready to eat. And then I'll show you the finished product.
Okay, our buffalo wing vegan chili is now done. I wish that I had smell -o vision It smells amazing. And notice there's still liquid in there even though I did not put any in it. I didn't use any stock. So remember, if you use the stock, it makes like a lot more chili, but it's really soupy. And I am using this on nachos tonight for Taco Tuesday, so I didn't want it soupy. So it looks perfect to me and smells amazing. Hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching. Bye.